This video explains what scopes are in regard to NPM packages, focusing on how to create, publish and install them. Let's start. But make sure to hit the like button in case you enjoyed, and subscribe to not miss new content. One of the mandatory fields that an NPM package must have, is a name. The name should be unique, thereby representing the package when it's published to the NPM registry. However, in case that a package is already published with a specific name, whether by another user or organization, clearly it's not possible to publish our package with this name. So, we can think about a different name and rename our package, but there is another option to approach that we should be aware of, and this is what we're going to introduce. Scoped packages is a way to group related NPM packages together, and connect them to each other by a specified scope, that acts pretty much like a namespace. This kind of packages provides a few benefits. Firstly, we don't have to worry if the package name exists, just name it, as long as we haven't already published such a scoped package before. Secondly, we don't have to worry that someone else will publish into our scope, only scope members have the permission. Last but not least, in case we work with a private NPM registry, we don't have to switch to it before installing or publishing a package, but rather simply set the private registry for the scope in advance and once. That being said, there's no free lunch, and we need to know how to use them correctly, but that's the purpose of this guide. So, let's demonstrate how to work with scoped packages practically. In order to create a new local scoped package, we can use npm init with a scope argument, which creates a package.json file and names the package considering the provided scope. Notice that there is a convention so that the scope name itself begins with that and followed by a slash. In case the package has already been initialized, we will just need to rename it to contain the scope according to the convention, nothing more. Basically there are two options for choosing a registry to publish into, it could be the primary of NPM or a private registry which we maintain ourselves. In case we do want to assign the scope with a private registry, we can use NPM config command and set it in advance. Great, let's communicate with the registry and publish our package. In order to do that, we should merely run the npm publish command, and don't forget to adjust the version. Having said that, we should be aware that the package is published privately by default, meaning with restricted access. The thing is we cannot publish privately into the primary registry, unless we have a paid account. So we can change the package to be published publicly when we initially publish with the access argument as public. If we do want to publish privately, we can upgrade our account to a paid individual or organization or just maintain our own private registry, for example, using Veritachio. Well, after the scoped package is published, we can easily install it in another project. All we need to do is running npm install with a full package name including the scope name. This will look for the package within the registry associated with the scope at first, and if the package isn't there, it would be resolved from the default registry. Don't forget to hit the like button in case you enjoy, and to subscribe to my channel.